Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial from TT Labs. I'm Anthony and today we're going to be going over the software for our new Flow AIO, which also covers over the Ring Plus and a few other items as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so now that we have our software open, we can go ahead and take a little bit of a better look. Now, first thing that you can notice is that there are four, I'm sorry, five panels open. Uh, that is to correspond with each of the ports off of the controller. And let's take a look over here. You'll notice that the number four is actually set as if there's an error. Now, this is because by default, it's set to the ring plus fans. So we'll need to go ahead and switch that over to the flow. Once we do that, we can go ahead and see all the different controls for the pump and let's go ahead and move back. So now, since we're using the 360, uh, there are four of these panels being used currently. However, if you're running the 240 or the 280, you'll actually have two leftover ports so you can hook up even some more Ring Plus fans. Now, to begin with, we have our fan control. Uh, it'll have a reporting for the RPM readouts of the fans. Uh, you can actually change this individually or among the whole set. Uh, there's a few different values such as performance for getting those cooler temperatures if you don't care about noise and then silent just to go ahead and keep the rig silent that way it's not bothering you nice part about this is you can actually deselect pwm and then adjust the values on their own let's see here but for this instruction we'll go ahead and leave it as silent pwm after that we have our mode section which we'll get into in just a little bit and then LED brightness and some color settings. Now what's actually kind of cool about these color settings is if you're trying to get a specific color and you don't want to use the color wheel, you can actually go ahead and input manual values. Right here, I actually already have it set up to show for blue. So let's go ahead and put that in. We'll deselect the LEDs that we just changed and let's change a couple more really quick. Let's go ahead and make this red. So knowing that 255 is the max, we can make red. 255 everything else zero punch that in and as you can see those LED values there have changed over to red and we'll do just one last one and let's make it green RGB why not okay and there we go red green and blue so enough with this, let's go ahead and take a better look at some of the different modes that we have available and actually two new modes that we have as well. Okay, so we actually have a total of 12 modes for the Ring Plus software. However, for today's tutorial, we'll only be covering about two as those are the newest additions to the family. If you want some more info on the other 10 modes, go ahead and check out the link in the description for a video Mike did actually covering the Ring Plus fans and the software as well. So to begin with, uh, this is actually one of the new modes that I found really cool and it's thermal mode. It's going to go ahead and change color corresponding as to how the temperature readouts are in your system, moving from blue for pretty cool to green at a good running status and red, which normally indicates danger, meaning your temperatures are pulling up a little bit higher than they should. I've generally yet to see red, uh, so we'll kind of watch the transition from blue to green. Now to go ahead and put some load on the system, we're just gonna go ahead and open up a benchmark really quick. And as you can see almost immediately, just from a quick jump, system goes ahead and changes color. And we'll just go ahead and let this run for a little bit and see if we get some more color variation. Go ahead and exit really quick so we can watch watch the system switch back down to blue and notice now that the CPU does not have any load anymore just went ahead and temperatures returned back to normal and LEDs readjusted to the coolest color 
Next up is cross mode. For this we went with a cool little blue, purple, and white theme. Uh, just to go ahead and show off a little bit more for what it can do. So as you can see the two light bands kind of move back and forth along the sides meeting each other and bouncing back each way. Uh, this is pretty customizable. You can change any LED you see fit uh, to any other colors you might like. So let's see here. Let's turn some of these purples over to red. Uh, what else is... We'll go with some yellow because why not and then we'll mirror that on the other side as well and there we go let's just save the settings now we're all set now just do remember that if you don't save the settings and you restart your computer, you will unfortunately have to restart over. So that is a pretty important thing to remember. Uh, if you do have a few different settings that you like, you actually have about five different profiles that you can interchange between as well. Thanks again for joining us guys for another TT Labs tutorial. If there's something that we missed and you might want to know more about, feel free to leave us a comment down below. And again, I'm Tony. We'll catch you guys in the next one.